going on cold rollers this is Pullboy coming back at you we're going to continue working with the doors to make that fiberglass happen so stay tuned boys and girls so as you guys can see we did put all the gel coat around the inside part of the door and uh, today we're gonna try to start with the fiberglass part as you can see all this is dry now and set it's really nice I'm just gonna go over you know the sections to make sure there's no uh, flaws that will uh, make it hard on us to complete the part and uh, I guess we'll go from there. So let's keep on going. See you in a bit. guys so as you were able to see I went ahead and uh, cleaned up the area I also went ahead and applied some of the body filler on the edge because remember as I had mentioned in other videos fiberglass is not in like 90 degree angles so that'll make it into a curb like so um, and we did that all the way around and we also went ahead and pre-cut the material that we're gonna use the fiberglass uh, mat I went ahead and pre-cut it, both uh, the 250 grain and the 450 grain, both of them. I went ahead and cut them out so that way as we're laying it, we don't have to wait in between to start cutting it and our resin will gel up and it'll spoil. So let's get back to it.
All right, Corollers, so we're back inside, feeling good, all cleaned up, got all that fiberglass off of me and all that resin. So as you guys were able to see, we went ahead and did the inside part of the passenger door. Uh, let me tell you, that is very tedious when it comes to that side of the door, uh, mainly because you have all the little contours and all the little seams and whatnots, and that just takes a little bit more time, a little bit more finesse when it comes to you know, putting on the fiberglass, laying it on, and making sure that all those little uh, imprints and whatnots are uh, well detailed. And it gets a little bit tougher as you continue to add more coats of fiberglass. But uh, we got it done. We got it done, and uh, I can't wait to see it once we separate that mold. And uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and continue with the other side of the door. Now, the outer part of the door, obviously, you know, it's a whole lot flatter, so that should make it a little bit easier. However, we do have to do some body work. And what I mean by body work is we need to blank out the whole area where the handle would be as well as the area where the mirror hooks onto, the little holes there. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think it's gonna be a pretty much a straightforward uh, uh, thing to do and shouldn't take us too much on doing it. However, also wanted to let you guys know that we have the bumper uh, in front of the truck that we gotta basically mount up pretty soon here. And uh, that's gonna be another uh, part that we need to do fiberglassing on. And you know, it does take a process obviously cause you wanna, you know, you gotta put on the, the uh, separating wax and you gotta use the PVA, then you put on the gel coat and the gel coat needs to cure. I, I tend to leave it overnight. Uh, some people do it a little bit sooner. I rather wait that little extra time to get that, you know, hard candy shell. Uh, however, uh, that's basically what we're up to as of right now. And uh, I believe that we have done some really good progress. Um, one thing I wanna mention is whenever you are working with fiberglass and you start, you know, uh, messing around with the molds and stuff like that, you gotta be extra, extra, extra careful. Uh, mainly because uh, you know, the, those surfaces uh, of the molds are a little bit rough, you know, you, you have uh, maybe a couple of hairs of fiberglass that are still sticking up and, you know, you might want to sand those down a little, you know, so that way, whenever you're handling it, uh, you don't get hurt. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because I already got a couple splinters <laughs> from the little fiberglass fibers and uh, yeah, they were fun to get out. I, I, I could barely get them. They're so small. But uh, yeah, we got that part there done. Everything is looking good and uh, can't wait to see it cure. So that way we could move on to the next part of the build. And uh, you guys are, you know, definitely giving me lots of support. I love your comments. Thank you so much. As you guys were able to see, we're up to 680 subscribers. That is mind boggling to me. And I'm very, very thankful for each and every one of you for being here and uh, showing that support. Uh, special hello, obviously, to DPM over in uh, Michigan. They're the guys that uh, uh, supplied us with the push rods and the lifters for the build, as well as Stroker Diesel over in Salt Lake City, Utah. They're the ones that sent us the sensors that we'll be needing for our build. Uh, brand new uh, OEM sensors that will work perfectly on our build. Uh, also, a big shout out to ONJ Performance. They're the guys that always uh, find the parts that we're needing and they're local here. They're the home base for uh, Po Boys Diesel. So they're here in Kissimmee, Florida. Make sure you check their website out also. And a big thank you also to the Diesel Podcast, as always, representing. Uh, these guys continue to bring on great material. You know, I always suggest to you guys to look them up, take a legander, you know, and uh, listen to their podcast. You can find them on iTunes as well as on uh, Instagram and obviously on YouTube our home base. Um, also, a big thank you to Brian Gray at Gray's Diesel Performance over in Middleburg, Florida. Uh, Brian Gray is a very good friend of mine and uh, he's also a big part of the Ugly Betty build. So you guys uh, make sure you check each and every one of those people's uh, uh, Instagram accounts as well as their websites and uh, let them know that Po'Boy sent you over to them. Let them know you're part of the official Po Boys Diesel official coal roller squad. There we go. That's a tongue twister, ain't it? But uh, yeah, a big thank you to all of you. Um, you know, everything is moving little by little, but it, we're getting there. 
and uh, we're making progress like I always said something you do today is something less you got to do tomorrow but never give up because giving up is not an option so I guess that's it gonna cut it in for today I can't wait to the next video and I'll see you guys over there so let the coal roll.